Okay guys, so polynomials have names, and I consider the degree the first name, and the number of terms their last name. So when there's a degree of zero, we call that a constant. And by the way, for degree, we're talking about always that leading term with the highest exponent. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. Just constant is 0. Linear is 1 to a degree of 1. 2 is going to be your new best friend. Quadratics, we will be working with these quite a bit. <coughs> And um, later, later in our polynomials, and even next chapter, three is cubic. Four is quartic. Five, <coughs> excuse me, is quintic. And if it goes beyond five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, whatever, we just say it's to the nth degree. So the sixth degree, or the seventh degree, or the twelfth degree. So only these first few have a special name. Now the number of terms tells us what the last name is. One term is what we call a monomial. Like monorail, just one. Binomial. for two, three is trinomial, and anything beyond three, we just call it a polynomial. Okay, so you guys are going to practice this on this paper you glued into your notebook yesterday. If you weren't here, there are some extras on the center supply table. But first, I'm going to write some polynomials in here at, that you're going to practice on. So let's just look at this one thinking about what we did yesterday. What is the degree? Well, the highest degree is 4. And since it's 4, we want to go back to our chart, and that means it's quartic. There's four terms, which means it's a polynomial. So that's all you're going to do to do this practice today. Let me fill in these other terms. I guess I could have done this before I made the copies, but I did not. Let me zoom out so you can see the whole thing at once. And your job is to fill in the rest of this. Uh, when you finish that work on your scavenger hunt, it is due on Friday. Let's flip back to our mini book. Because on mini book day, we worked with these two polynomials. And I want us to go look at them now and give them their name. Okay, so remember, the highest term, or the highest exponent tells you the first name, and since that's a five, this first one is quintic. And it has one, two, three, four terms, so it's quintic polynomial is its name. The 
This one, its highest exponent is a two, and what's the first name for an exponent of two? It's linear. And how many terms does it have? Also two. So its last name is binomial. Okay, um, last thing I wanna do is take you back to our objectives. This is our first objective, naming polynomials according to their degree and number of terms. I will leave with the sub some practice problems that you guys can do out of your book. And again, when you finish, you are going to work on your scavenger hunt.